Philip Stein is a global watch brand hinged on what they term as natural frequency technology. We'll get some money insights from its founder, Will Stein. Don't miss our episode today. I'm Edric Mendoza on The Money Begins Now. Have you heard of the term responsible luxury? Will Stein, founder of global watch brand Philip Stein, is here to shed some light on this and also provide snippets of his own money insights. Will, thank you for being here on the show. Thank you, Eric, for having me. And I'm very uh, excited to see your perspective, uh, not just on what it is that you have built, but even how you have handled money and what you've learned in the process. So that term, responsible luxury, that is a term that has come about with the brand that you launched in August of uh, 2003, if my data serves me correctly. Right. Tell me more about that term. Well, that was actually quite interesting how we came up with this idea mm -hmm. because uh, we looked at luxury as a whole. And uh, on the one hand, you have material luxury, mm -hmm. uh, which is replaceable. But then you have immaterial luxury, which is not replaceable. And by that, I mean your health, your well-being, mm -hmm. that's irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. And because Philip Stein is an adjunct to health and well-being, so we thought responsible luxury would make sense. Mm -hmm. So the idea is co covering both That's areas, right? right? Uh, and has that worked for you? It has worked for us, but over the years, of course, we have also coined other terms, like, for example, true luxury is well-being. Mm. Because at the end of the day, uh, our product has to do with a healthy lifestyle, with, lu with uh, overall well-being, with uh, an improved quality of life and that's how we carved out our niche. Okay, um, and, and when you uh, talk about carving your niche, what is the unique feature of your watches that actually shows this responsible luxury? Right. Well, the unique feature is what we call natural frequency technology. Mm. And what I mean by that is we are surrounded by frequencies at all times. Mm -hmm. We're surrounded by man-made frequencies, the lighting, the cell phones, the computers, etc. But we're also surrounded by natural frequencies. And natural frequencies are in fact very good for our well-being. Mm. They're good for our body. But because of this clash, it creates somewhat an imbalance. Mm. And what we were able to do, we were able to create a technology which harnesses the natural frequencies and channels them to our body for our personal well-being. Mm -hmm. And how does that, I mean, in layman's term, how does it channel that frequency and bring it to our yeah. bodies? Inside our watch mm -hmm. is a metal disc, and through our technology, we are able to basically, for the lack of a better term, program this disc to act like a fine-tuned antenna. Mm -hmm. And this antenna in your watch, basically, it picks up these natural frequencies mm -hmm. and it channels them energetically to our body. Mm -hmm. And how did you create that technology? Well, this technology was actually brought to me because uh, my wife and I, we were prior to, to Philip Stein, we were already in the watch business. Mm -hmm. And a group of people, they came to us and showed us this and told us about a technology. When you put it into a watch, it's about health and well-being. And because my wife and I, we both tried to lead a pretty healthy mm -hmm. lifestyle, so right away we were very open to this discussion. So in 2003, actually, mm -hmm. we put it into our watch brand mm -hmm. and into our watches, and uh, that's where it's, it all started then, in 2003 in America, in Miami. I see. Uh, and of course, one of the, the magic moments, if you will, of the brand was when Oprah Winfrey herself uh, came across it and featured it. Can you tell us a little bit yeah, about that, that? That was truly a magic moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what actually happened is when we created our watch, we thought, um, you know, we need to find some kind of an influencer, mm -hmm. a trendsetter who can wear this watch and maybe, you know, put it out there. So I asked a couple of my friends, um, you know, who do you know in the watch, uh, in the in the industry, in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. who we can uh, give a watch to? And one of our friends who was in the music business, he had a contact to Madonna. Mm. So we got the watch to Madonna, and it happened so that Madonna was on the Oprah show maybe three weeks later, and then Madonna gave this watch, the Philip Stein watch, as a gift to Oprah. Wow. And, and after <laughs> that, uh, what happened is, you can't imagine, we were 
sitting at a table like this, our office wasn't bigger like uh, a small room, mm -hmm. and there were three people sitting there at our table, and all of a sudden the phone rings, and uh, it was Opa on the phone. And uh, did, we were did you believe it when no, you first received it? Of course not. What, what happened is, you know, a person picks up the phone, uh, one of our assistants, and, mm -hmm. and, and said, uh, Will, you know, there's Oprah on the phone. <laughs> and I, I was laughing it off just like you, and I said, yeah, yeah let her wait. Yeah. And he said, no, no, it's Oprah. It's really Oprah. Yeah. Really? So uh, we, we spoke, and um, she said she likes the design, she liked the fact that it has interchangeable bands, mm -hmm. and she liked the fact that it has the natural frequency technology, mm -hmm. even though she didn't know whether it worked or not. But she said, I would like to introduce it in my show, Oprah's Favorite Things. Wow. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. Now tell me a little bit about the name, Philip Stein, because that is not your name. No. <laughs> that is not your wife's name. No. Uh, help us under appreciate how you came up with well, that brand. Well, name. Stein is my last name, mm -hmm. and we wanted to create a brand which, you know, has the, the last name in mm -hmm. it. But um, Will Stein doesn't sound, you know, good. And uh, also... Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> and also, what was even mm -hmm. more interesting, my wife was pregnant at the time when we were looking for a brand name and initially we wanted to call our son Ben Philip mm. but then when our son was born we decided to call our son Ben mm -hmm. and the other upcoming child which is also our <laughs> baby the watch brand Philip this is how Philip started right. and, and now Philip is grown up and is very Philip successful. and Ben has also grown <laughs> up <laughs> Can you tell me the, the expanse of Philip Stein now? I mean, how many countries in the world are, are selling your, your product and what sort of range do you have? Yeah, we are in, you know, almost 30 countries or a little bit over 30 countries mm -hmm. in the world. Some areas and regions are, of course, stronger than others. Mm -hmm. uh, until today, the U.S. market, together with the Caribbean and, and, and Canada, is our strongest market. Mm -hmm. That's where we build our base. Mm -hmm. that, that's where we build our foundation. Mm -hmm. But the Philippine market has been extremely important for us and is a key market for us because we started in the Philippines in the year 2005. Mm -hmm. Ever since it has grown. And even until today, 10 years later or 11 years later, the market is still growing because the people who were 15 years old <laughs> 10 years ago, they are now 25, they can afford a Philipstein, and maybe they've seen the Philipstein on their parents, they've heard about the well-being benefits, so the market in the Philippines is still growing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, this, you have gone beyond just the watches, am I correct? Yes. Uh, in fact, what we did is we, um, you know, we got a lot of feedback and information from customers mm -hmm. that the people who wear the watches, that they sleep better. So we created a product called the Philipstein Sleep Bracelet. Because one of the features uh, in our technology, which is very important, is that we can, with our technology, um, basically attract different frequencies. Mm -hmm. um, I call it, for the lack of a better term, frequency recipe. Mm -hmm. So there is a frequency recipe, a combination of different frequencies in the watch, mm -hmm. and there is also a frequency recipe in the sleep rate. The frequency recipe, you call it, is concocted, if you will, uh, as, as a German science, is it? No, it's actually a group of uh, Austrian and Canadian scientists mm -hmm. who came up with this. And today, we, you know, Philip Stein owns the technology, mm -hmm. and uh, we work still together. Now let's take a peek behind the scenes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now I understand that the, the formula in your business success has been uh, your background and strength in marketing, and your wife's background as far as watchmaking in the industry, mm -hmm. correct? Who is more money savvy between the two of you? Of course, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Is she? Really? How, how well, so? Why my, so? My, my, my wife, she, she has the mentality, but I think we both have the mm -hmm. mentality uh, to be very conservative in, in our spending. Mm. Uh, so she keeps the money in, and uh, then because you know we are a mid-sized business, mm -hmm. we are a family business, so when it comes to bigger investments, mm -hmm. etc., we always sit together and, and make the decisions together, together with our CFO. But uh, she's very, you know, money conscious to make sure that we don't overspend on, you know, anything. Okay. So if she is money conscious, how do you define yourself when it comes to money? I would say I'm also conservative, mm -hmm. but I look at um, 
sometimes maybe the the marketing benefits mm. a little bit more and then I would you know discuss with her ah come on why don't we spend here a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, and she would you know look really at the ROI and calculate it with the CFO and say mm -hmm. no no but I said well but it's the goodwill well you know so <laughs> <laughs> so that seems th th has that caused tension I mean in, in the, in the look, course of business let's call it business side yeah I mean, when you work 24 hours with your wife, right. uh, you know, it, it causes tension and a little bit of friction. But the mm -hmm. good thing is, we are, in, in business, we are quite different. Uh, and, and the good thing is, the result is always positive. Mm -hmm. You know, we collaborate, we, we uh, collaborate very well together. Mm -hmm and uh, we, we add to each other's strength and weakness. Mm -hmm. How do you resolve your, your issues when it comes to, you know, you need more money for the marketing and she wants to hold back? We bring in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> the CFO. Okay. <laughs> so, so that has been the, the secret recipe behind the scenes for that. Uh, we're going to take a break just, just right now and continue on talking more about, you know, how you handle the money side of things. Okay. We're just going to pause for a short break right now. We'll continue our discussions with Will Stein when we return.